Around midnight on the 4th of February in 2019, sea cucumber farmers from a coastal village in southwest Madagascar experienced their largest harvest ever of over 5,500 sea cucumbers. Together, 78 farmers from Tampalu Bay earned a net profit of 4,800 US dollars after paying all operational costs themselves. One month later in March, they experienced a similar sized harvest. These large harvests are not expected to stop anytime soon and are the reward for many years of work by Blue Ventures and the farmers of Tampalu Bay with long-term support from partner IOT and funders Norgesfeld to create this new sustainable livelihood. For the past 10 years, Blue Ventures has been developing community-based aquaculture models with coastal fishing communities in southwest Madagascar that can reduce reliance on declining coastal fisheries. One of the most exciting of these and most promising was our sea cucumber aquaculture model, which in 2016 had been really showing high potential for success. We'd sold over 40,000 sea cucumbers and the fishers were really beginning to engage in this as an alternative livelihood. However, we experienced a massive disease outbreak which caused us to really reevaluate our model and to think about how we could develop its sustainability into the future. This included development of security mechanisms, experimental trials so that we could better our carrying capacity of our sediment and our stocking strategies, as well as ensuring that the governance model suited the needs of the fishers that we were working with and was built from the ground up. Following a two-year farming hiatus, farmers rebuilt their farms with a stronger security system in place, employing a new stocking strategy and a farming protocol they took part in creating. Throughout the past year of juvenile stocking, maintenance, and monitoring, farmers have grown confident that their new model would promote the long-term sustainability they'd hoped for. While the farmers were gearing up for their first full harvest after remodeling, four members of the Blue Ventures team were across the western Indian Ocean in Ngunja, Zanzibar, having been invited by FAO Tanzania to share their experiences and the community-based sea cucumber farming model they'd help to improve. And um, the timing was perfect because it was all so fresh in our mind and we were ready to go and share these experiences outside of Madagascar. With the first juvenile sea cucumbers now being produced by a mariculture hatchery supported by FAO, the Korea International Cooperation Agency, and the government of Zanzibar. Two trainings given by Blue Ventures brought together a mixed group of government officials, hatchery technicians, researchers, entrepreneurs, NGO staff, and current farmers of wild-caught sea cucumbers, who were able to engage in discussion around building the sea cucumber farming industry in Zanzibar and Tanzania. Through a series of classroom sessions and more practical field-based sessions for site selection and pen construction, participants gained new perspectives on sea cucumber farming and the technical know-how needed to begin their own grow-out projects in Zanzibar. Sea cucumber collection has been one of the most among the most important activities in Zanzibar historically. People have been collecting sea cucumber, then they boil it, they dry it, and they sell it to Ch local Chinese traders who export it to the Far East. But because of the increase in population, increase in the number of fisher, there was over-exploitation and the number of uh, sea cucumbers have reduced. So now, in order to, in, uh, to continue with that activity, the government has encouraged sea, uh, sea cucumber farming. In order to make it easier for those who are farming sea cucumber, the government has introduced a hatchery so that they can produce uh, seeds uh, which will be easier for those who want to culture to take them to their farms and use them. Also, now they've done a training. If you look at East Africa and Central, I'm 100% sure that this is the first sea cucumber training that has been conducted in this East Africa and Central. So the, 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 the training has supported more juniors officers, have supported more farmers, have supported businessmen who are expecting or thinking of going into this venture, at least have a clear picture of what is it, what does it mean to do sea cucumber farming, what is the value of sea cucumber farming, what are do and don't on the sea cucumber farming. Uh, we are really happy to have a blue venture here in Zanzibar from Madagascar because mariculture is a new, new industry here in Zanzibar, but uh, for some countries, uh, such as Madagascar, they have been started 
many, many years uh, ago. So they have a lot of experience of uh, how to, to combat challenges, uh, problem relating to this uh, uh, sea cucumber farming. So it's really, really important and really helpful for us to have a, a, a teacher, to have a, a advisor from Madagascar to come to run, to run this workshop. It's really good and uh, participants, they are really, really happy because they, they, uh, they, are, they were very interactive during the training and they, they really have a lot of experience from, from Madagascar. The training was very, very useful because it trained the farmers on how to select a site, how to get the seeds if they don't get it from the hatchery, how to do it from the wild and when, how to construct the pens and put the seeds in there, and also the carrying capacity, to know the carrying capacity of each pen. And also they've learned about diseases, which could be a problem, how to handle them and transport them from one side to another, and also uh, to look at, um, to monitor them, their growth rate and also security, to ensure that nobody comes to steal what they are growing so that they don't lose money and they still get an income. So, and uh, the good thing in but the local people have already started this uh, sea cucumber farming. So now we need actually to make it really formal, community-based sea cucumber farming in the area. So they do this in a very sustainable way. The way they do now is not sustainable. They overstock, they don't know the right actually site selection, which th the things actually we got from the training that was actually uh, done by Blue Ventures experts. And the community here is ready for that. As you see on my background, actually those are actually the community who are actually trying to, to practice what they've learned from, the, from this training. So this was actually the right time for us. And we actually, we make like a, <clears throat> a confession, co co confession that we are going actually to do this seriously and in a very sustainable way. Basically from my side, I think sea cucumber farming is the best option that our countries should opt. Because if you look at, for example, most of the farmers who are doing like tilapia farming, they're not making that much profit because if you look at cost of production, almost 60 to 70 of the production cost goes into feeds, which cut across all the profits that a farmer is expecting to get. But with the sea cucumber, we expect one is you don't feed them, they eat natural, naturally from, from nutrients from the soil, but also if you look at the value of selling a kilo or a piece of sea cucumber, is much way 100 times what we sell a kilo of tilapia, which you use almost seven to eight months to raise, you still have to add in feeds, other running costs, Rather than if you look with the sea cucumber, you only have to put pens and the site selections, which is a critical issue. And what matters most is forecasting on the security because of the, the value that it has on the market. Um, people have actually engaged in this business because we had an intervention from seaweed farming. Seaweed farming actually is a big farming activity in uh, Zanzibar, but it doesn't really pay what these people have, uh, have expected. Now the price is very low. And then now uh, the global changing or the climate change actually is really affecting the, uh, the, the farms. And if you compare now um, uh, the uh, benefits, there are more benefits within the sea cucumbers than in the seaweed farming. Also, another thing is the market. The market is ready and the price is very good when you compare to seaweed farming. Seaweed farming is like you are begging to sell that. It's like you don't have any other choice. But with uh, sea cucumber, the market is there, sea cucumber price is there, so it's you just to actually invest your time and devote maybe a little time in order to, 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 to engage in this, in this business. And also this is uh, something very good because also it's something which is not done in deep water. So it's something which even women can do. They don't have to dive. They just can uh, see their pens, monitor them, as protect them, and then after a few months, then they can collect their cucumber and sell them.
Uh, this Zanzibar, every family, he, he farming another place. Maybe me here, another there, another there. But for this training, three days training, I learning how to, to select the area and how to farm together. Before training, he are farming to put many sea cucumber in one area. After this training, you know this area you need how many sea cucumber. For this way, I, 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 I think this training is good for us, good for Zanzibar farmer, and good. I learning more and very many things for this I, I learning in, in this course. I wish to attend more training. It has really broadened my mind. It has increased my knowledge in the field of aquaculture. And also it has, it has increased my ambition in searching, researching, in, uh, I mean, also it's creates some confidence that I can talk this to people who are not in the training and tell them something about sea cucumber and their deal in making income, more income. And also, I, in short, I just gain a lot from Blue Ventures and the training. And this was just the beginning of my, of the extensions of the, the aquaculture in Tanzania generally. Now that we are also, we have finalized with the training, I believe and understand that more are going to be done between association, Blue Venture and the hatchery. We only hope that more are going to be done in supporting community outreach and more especially in pens construction, clusters management and outgrowing system. This was a really exciting time for our Blue Ventures aquaculture team because it's the first time we've shared our experiences outside of Madagascar and we really feel like there is huge potential for community-based sea cucumber aquaculture throughout the West Indian Ocean and beyond. We feel like there's real tangible parallels between sea cucumber farming and resource management and that lessons learned from one can translate to the other. So we're really enthused that community-based sea cucumber aquaculture is spreading out past Madagascar because we feel the key lessons are going to be learned elsewhere and we want to forge relationships with other partners that are developing this so that we can learn from this and together we can build a truly sustainable community-based aquaculture model for sea cucumbers that benefit the communities and the environment that they're placed within.